football. Uh, yes, a World Cup anthem sung by England's 1966 World Cup winning side has been released after spending three decades hidden in an attic on the Isle of Man. Yeah, the song had been due to be released, but then the Falklands War broke out and it was considered to be inappropriate. Kelly Foran has more. They think it's all over. It is now. He scored that goal that won England's only ever World Cup. But here he is with the rest of the winning team as they've never been seen before. I had all big placards up with the words on for the boys, taught the lads how to sing. I even got Alan Ball singing a bit of harmony. Got all the lads there singing and playing instruments and then had a real knees up. Down the road and over the hill. Bob was part of what's known as Britain's first boy band, the Dallas Boys. Along. We played to 150,000 people over the two nights. He's performed with Sir Cliff Richard, Shirley Bassey and many more big names, but says the football anthem was one of his proudest moments. Bobby Moore, to lead us on. After recently seeing that some of the team are living with Alzheimer's, Bob decided to shake off the dust and release it. It's so sad to see them all on that tape and then realise that a lot of them are stricken with this terrible complaint and, and Alan and Bobby have, have gone completely now for Ramsey, you know. It's very sad. He wrote it to wish the 82 footy side well, but it was quite literally shelved. We sent it to EMI, who loved it, they thought it was wonderful. And the next day, the Falklands War broke and EMI phoned up and said, we think that it's inappropriate to release this now with the, what's happening. And it was such a shame that they started the Falklands War, wasn't it? Otherwise I could have been a millionaire. <laughs> All funds from the song will go towards Alzheimer's research. Kelly Foran, BBC Northwest Tonight, The Isle of Man. Brilliant, that. A good old-fashioned football song.